We are DJNS, and we are going to talk about the superstar effect today. The superstar effect is the consequence caused by a well-known opponent in a competitive atmosphere, and then going along with the superstar effect also causes the choking effect, which is the consequence of being a well-known competitor. A few superstars, for comparisons, Tiger Woods, number one superstar in my heart. 71 first places, uh, 27 second places, thir uh, 17 third places, and then of course Michael Jordan, six NBA championships, amazing. It's like playing blackjack against a dealer, he ain't losing. And that's the New York uh, Knicks coach. And then of course LeBron James, also number one in my heart. 2010 playoff statistics, uh, 31.8 points per game, 9.2 rebounds per game, and 8.2 assists per game, amazing. And then there's Roger Federer, greatest tennis player of all time, and he has won 16 Grand Slam titles. All right. So, the superstar effect causes a uh, mentality towards his opponents. It can be demotivating towards them, so they feel like they can't win. They get the, uh, they start overthinking what they're doing. They start trying to be better than what they are, and a lot of times they just accept defeat, which is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, this can also lead to the choking effect of the superstar, where they get the uh, they get pressure on them to perform at their best at all times. And if they don't perform at their best, a lot of times it can lead to them being publicly embarrassed, and a lot of times lost. They have a fear of losing their place as number one in the world. Tiger Woods has a presence in competition when he's there. It. Uh, Reduces the ability of other competitors to think they because they expect Tiger to win, like he's wearing a green jacket right now, and failure becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy to lose the competition. As a result of this, uh, self-fulfilling prophecy, expectation of an outcome, your actions will try to produce the anticipated results. If you think you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose. And the loss of motivation is trying to outperform the superstar. And uh, motivation, it's not that I'm lazy, I just don't care anymore. Um, there was a study done on the SAT that showed that those who took the test in a larger group did worse on it because of the increase of, in competition, which caused those who were less smart to feel like they couldn't live up to like the smarter kids. And this caused them to be less motivated, which in turn allowed them to do worse on the test because they're living up to what the smarter kids were doing. So that's another example of the superstar effect. Questions? <laughs> yeah, John. John. Um, is this superstar effect, do you think that it applies to um, economic situations such as businesses not wanting to compete against giants such as you? Yeah, the, uh, like mentioned in the article here, they mentioned a former CEO of GE, and this guy had his uh, 20, 70, 10 management perspective, the top 20%, the bottom, or the middle 70%, and the bottom 10%. And he would manage people up or out depending on their performance. He raised GE's uh, overall, I think, revenues to from 14 billion to 400 billion over a course of 21 years. Well, I was asking, years. would this happen in between corporations like, say, GE competing with, you know, a different corporation in the same field? It would. It would lead the expectation that GE is a power player. So maybe. People working for the other corporation wouldn't work as hard as their goals because they expect GE to still be on top no matter what. I guess you could say the same expectations are in the auto industry where you get Toyota being the number one auto manufacturer in the world, so other manufacturers just aren't working as hard to be to try to be the top. But I mean we're also expecting to see that change soon with the whole sticking gas pedal syndrome. Any questions? Yes. So you guys said that like students that are grouped together, you know, if poor students are grouped with well students, they won't do as well because because lots of schools nowadays want to, you know, take their uh, poor, you know, the lower end poor performing students and mix them with the higher, you know, smarter students, hoping that they'll be role models. But you're when you guys write, basically that's not the case. 
Well, the problem with the SAT is when the kids who were less smart were looking around and seeing other kids work faster, that caused them to like think that they weren't getting the right answers. And basically they were like just trying to fill in the blanks and not really trying as hard. Any other questions? Yes. Um, like in competition though, sometimes the underdog wins. How do you explain that? Well that that it's just this is explaining more of the superstar where you have one competitor that's so much bigger than the others. Like, when you think of golf, who do you think of? I'm pretty sure within the last 20 years, Tiger Woods. He's the biggest guy out there. He is, he's pretty much made golf what it is today as far as being, I mean, in the past, I mean, yeah, it was golf. But, I mean, now there's Tiger Woods, and he's won so much because people have expected him to do that. <laughs> But you know, a lot of times when you say the underdog wins, it's it's not be, it's. I mean, while <coughs> the superstar effect more deals with the huge, absolute giant of a sport, like you know, Tiger Woods is golf. While you've got other sports like I don't know, like NASCAR or something, where underdogs have a tendency of winning. Any other questions? Yes. Do you think like Tiger Woods? caught in this sex scandal lowers his superstar effect over opponents? In a way, yeah, because it shows more or less Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> it shows Tiger Woods' as lower animal instincts. Uh, that he is a human, and then he's just not so Nike endorsed to be a driving golf playing robot, sent here to search and destroy the PGA. Um, but it, it's... I think people are still expecting Tiger to do well, but maybe just not do as well. Mine ears are still ringing. That, and he's probably expecting his wife to come out and meet him at the golf club again anytime soon now. Right, well, you said no. Personal opinion. Oh, okay. I think it's up to I think it's up to the person who's following. We just, yeah. We just have to wait and see.